Hey everyone, it's Ross, and in today's video, I just want to do a quick announcement. This isn't going to substitute for the video of the day. Um, speaking of the videos that I've been doing is that uh, we put out over 300 videos in a row, so a video a day for 300 days in a row. Uh, it's been really, really awesome. I've uh, been really excited that this is a, a nice goal that I've been able to achieve even throughout the winter time when you would think there's really nothing to film or nothing to talk about. We managed to get through that. We've got a lot more videos coming out, including the one that's coming out today. Um, you know, that's filmed outside. Uh, what I do want to mention here is that if you do have a video that you guys want me to cover, right? We're in the beginning of the season now. Um, if you want me to cover something, I think this is a great opportunity to ask you guys if you guys have any ideas or something that you want me to talk about or something that I want you want me to show you. Um, you know, now is kind of the time. Put that down in the comments below. Um, I also want to mention that we're going to be selling some plants. Um, we're going to be selling lots of trees coming up. But we're also selling right now cuttings. And they are going to be listed on FigBid by the time this video is released. Um, if you follow me on social media, you know exactly when they're going to be um, listed on FigBid. But this is obviously a picture of some cuttings that we're going to sell. And then here is the FigBid page that I... Um, this is just the current listings that I have active. But if you want to go to the FigBid listings here, go down in the description of this video. You can very easily get to this particular page and it'll show you all the listings I have available. Uh, right now we have some raspberry plants for sale. We had moved a lot of the raspberry plants around, um, put them in a different location. And in doing that, I was able to really get some nice good suckers, also separate out some, um, some really healthy canes from the mother plants. Uh, these things are really, really big plants. They're going to be able to fruit for you this year. And in fact, by year two, um, you're going to have roughly a pint of strawberries a day per plant. Um, you know, they're very easy to maintain. I honestly think raspberries are a joke to grow. I don't know why anyone would ever buy them from the store. Um, I think they're that easy. So we are going to have some cuttings for sale. Like I said, we are going to have some trees for sale coming up. But I wanted to get rid of these cuttings soon because we had just pruned our trees. Um, there's a video that's going to come out in a few days. Um, that video details why I had pruned off a lot of the cuttings I had pruned off. Um, mainly to reduce the height on some of the trees that I've put away in storage. But also to, um, to really prune back the trees that we planted in ground. We planted a lot of trees in ground. In fact, I think the video today or the video tomorrow is on planting fig trees and why we're doing that now um, but we really go into more detail into why I've pruned them back in a video down in the future so if you want some really hardy varieties varieties that I'm gonna be planting in the ground um, now is kind of the time to do that also some other additional varieties that I have that it'd be really nice uh, for you guys that are interested in grafting this wood is very fresh um, it didn't have to sit through the um, your fridge the whole winter time. Um, it's also a great idea if you guys are looking for cuttings that you want to root in the springtime because they are, again, very fresh. But this is going to be the last cuttings that I sell um, until November. So if anyone's interested in any cuttings, you have to wait until November. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of trees that I'm going to have for sale. Um, fairly soon, I'd say probably in the next month or two, um, and then all throughout the summer and all throughout the fall. I think I'm going to do them in stages depending on what's going on in my life. Uh, by the way, I do also want to mention that we are really busy. Um, between getting things ready for the garden, um, tax season, everything is really coming together and, and really stressing me out. If you guys are contacting me with questions, I love to answer your questions. Uh, we mentioned this in a prior video. You guys know this. For those of you who have been watching me um, for for a long time, you know that I answer just about everybody's question. I mean, I like doing that. I think it's fun. It helps me learn. It helps me gain a better understanding of what's going on, not just in my own part of the world, but in, uh, in yours as well. But I would say that now is just really not a good time to be asking me things. The questions are really starting to pile up. The work is really starting to pile up. Um, 
I will, of course, get to them, but what I'm recommending to you guys is that if you have questions, post them down in the comments of the video that your question pertains to. Um, the chances are I've probably answered your question in a video. A lot of people ask me, um, when do I prune my figs? Well, just go to um, a video that I've done on pruning figs. We've got at least three or four, I believe, videos on just pruning fig trees. So that really will answer your question. But also, if you've got a question that's already been answered, or that hasn't been answered, I'm sorry, if you post it in the video, it really helps out that particular video, right? It helps spread that word out to other people that are like-minded like yourself and want to find out this information. So um, I'll certainly answer the question on YouTube, but if you're reaching out to me from other sources, whether that's Facebook, Instagram, or email, uh, even Twitter, I just recommend that you don't, and I'm really trying to encourage people to go back and try not to um, bypass everybody and post all that stuff on YouTube. It, it just really does help me out, and it really is just becoming a lot of work to um, to answer everyone's question on many different platforms. It just makes things very confusing, very daunting. Um, you know, it would be nice if I had an inbox for every single question that came in and I can just go to that inbox, but it's in like four or five different places. You know what I mean? Um, that's pretty much it I wanted to cover today. Uh, I'd also advise you guys, if you're interested in checking out the website, it's rossratty.wixsite.com slash blog. Also in the description, we've got a nice little consulting page here. We also have a nice blog page. We've done four blog posts so far. This is going to be updated again soon. If you want to follow the blog, sign up for the newsletter. I know a lot of you guys have the last time I had mentioned this. You will get notified. You're also going to get notified if you guys hit that bell on this video um, on YouTube. You guys will notif be notified when it is that a new video comes out if that's something you guys want as well. I'd also recommend that you guys follow me on Patreon or help me um, support the channel and become patrons. Uh, it really does help out regardless of what it is. It really makes these videos a lot easier to create. Um, we did just pick up a whole new camera system here and I've really been trying to figure it out. It's, I've spent roughly about $150 trying to figure out how to get myself this other camera here to really work to your benefit. So it's not like your support is going to something uh, outrageous. Um, also, even if it's just a dollar a day or even 10 cents, I'm sorry, not a dollar a day, a dollar a month or even 10 cents a day, uh, it's really well worth it um, compared to the ad revenue that I get on YouTube. So um, just throwing it out there. Of course, you don't have to do this. Any support you guys are, uh, are doing is very, very helpful, whether that's commenting, liking the video, subscribing, sharing the videos, even buying the, um, the plants or the cuttings that I have on Figbit. It really, really does mean a lot to me, guys. Anyway, I don't want to be on the soapbox of, uh, or too much on the soapbox of asking for support, but uh, I will mention it as many times as I as I uh, <laughs> as I can that there's really a contradiction there but anyway anyway thank you guys so much for watching this one stay tuned for today's video this is just a little uh, announcement all right take care everyone catch you later